Stadio Bernabeu. They're playing very late at night, 11 o'clock kickoff local time. And it hasn't cooled down, he's 87 degrees in the Spanish capital. Bit of payback time for Barcelona tonight. After that controversial first game where Cristiano Ronaldo is stealing the headlines, scoring a goal, getting sent off. And he's uh, been in the headlines for the last two days, getting a five-game sentence, appealing it and losing the appeal today. The club are not particularly happy. But there are changes to the Real Madrid team. Modric returns to midfield, effectively taking the place of Casemiro. And changes in attack as well. Asensio, who scored a goal in yet another debut in a cup competition, gets a start. Isco is rested and Gareth Bale is on the bench, allowing Vasquez to start alongside Benzema. Well, the referee at the weekend was very much in focus. He'll be hoping to keep a low profile. Senor Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez. Familiarity often breeds content between these two. Well, Barcelona not only have changed the names on the team sheet, they've changed the formation this evening as well. Mascherano comes in, effectively replacing Iniesta. Sergio Roberta takes the place of Vidal, and Andre Gomez takes the shirt vacated by Delefeo. But it's no longer going to be the 4-3-3 formation of Barcelona. Valverde has gone for an experimental three at the back. Real Madrid last year, the fact that often he could make Nine changes, it would have no effect. Asensio comes into the team, plays it back to Modric! Going off the back, I think, of Umtiti. From target, we see the great, great movement of Asensio, latching onto that channel ball from Marcelo. Does well to cut it back to Modric. And Very lazy ball from Gerard Piquet. He was looking rusty at the weekend, Harry, wasn't he? Yep, that's not a good, a good pass in any circumstances. And we've seen Modric with the attempted finishing. Awesome. Look at that! This boy knows no bounds! No danger, they backed off him, and how he punished them. Just as I, I was mentioning that Modric's pretty attempted finish. There's a successful finish. How good is this, this young player? There's no stopping him. So Stegen certainly didn't have an answer. Barcelona don't have an answer at the moment. Four minutes into the game, it's been all round Madrid. And he certainly is making a name for himself. Fantastic young player, scored on Sunday, and that's another classic. Well, there's nothing on, is there? He's 30 yards out, they back off him, and Tostegan can only stand and stare in amazement at the Prince of Madrid. Well, you say Tostegan can only stare, I think he can, and should be making an attempt, making a dive. So much that he believes it's going over the crossbar, it's not right in the top corner. Don't get me wrong, it's a spectacular finish, a great shot, a great attempt at goal. <laughs> But you would hope your goalkeeper would make more of an attempt than we just saw. Bad times in Lionel Messi. They have to do it all on his own, the way things are developing tonight. Roberto back to Lionel Messi, who's capable of doing it all on his own. And committed keeping from Kayla Navas. This is Kovacic, who's bursting with confidence as well. Asensio sends Marcelo down the fast lane. Marcelo across, and so Stegen wisely just pulled his hand out of the way with... Benzema on the prowl. And Suarez. Suarez gets the clearance. Marcelo unlucky. Just as we talk about good defensive shape, good tactic system of play from Real Madrid. Suarez attacking fullbacks. Marcelo that gets forward and Messi at the moment. He's the only bright spark, isn't it, for Barcelona? Benzema has found space between the two central defenders. He draws PK. Vasquez with him, bides his time, Asensio, it's a safe outlet, Real Madrid are running Barcelona ragged, Marcelo, they've got a spare man on this near side in Vasquez, great take by Vasquez, creates space for himself, Ronaldo like step over, Ooh. they do look like scoring every time they attack, it was Tony Crowe's at the sharp end of things this time, well, such a difference, Rob, in terms of the pace of the teams. 
Everything that Real Madrid are doing is quick. With and without the ball. Here's Benzema. And Sharano gambles. Here is Vasquez! A big scare for Barcelona. This right wing, that was the chance for Vasquez. Curled it past the keeper. They look a shadow of themselves at the moment, though, Barcelona. Let's not forget they won here in April. And that was without Neymar. He was suspended for that match. And obviously got that winning goal late on. Oh, it was a, an absolute golf in terms of class between the two teams currently. There's Modric. We have, of course, though, have the possibilities of Lionel. Marcelo. Goes around the outside, gets the cross in. Benzema's there! They can just about see their reflection in this trophy now. And Real Madrid starting the season in a razor-sharp manner. Well, that summarises it perfectly well. Razor-sharp, quick all around the pitch. Barcelona look fatigued. Defensive work there of TT against Benzema. It's a mismatch. The Barcelona striker against the Real Madrid attacker. Messi complaining about an earlier foul, maybe, but it was a long time before that goal came for Real Madrid. Busquets dispossessed, again Vasquez working hard, Asensio getting involved, out to Marcelo, and the cross comes into the box. Static defending from Umtiti, he's flat-footed, he's on his heels. Benzema is the opposite, sharp, quick, great first touch. And most importantly, the finishing touch. Great strike from Benzema, great centre-forward play, fantastic from Real Madrid. Vasquez. Benzema. Oh. He's in raging form. Again, he's able to freely take on the Barcelona defence. Eventually, PK gets out to try and close him down, but... Suarez onto the loose ball. Now Lionel Messi drives on. Oh, the Messi can't score. Sergio Roberto. Gomez leans in there. It's the first time that they've allowed Messi to slip from their grasp. Has been continually trying all night to take on the defence. Gets the opportunity here, gets away from Gran, just lifts it over the goalkeeper, Kalor Navas. Barcelona and Messi unlucky. Just rebound off the crossbar. Kalor Navas gets a, a slight touch to. Asensio. Benzema. Benzema. Oh, dear me. Knocks the goalkeeper out. Doesn't matter what part of your body you save it with. The most unconventional of saves from Tushnegan. He tries to make himself as big as possible, doesn't he? Doesn't go down too quickly. Again, look at shot. Real Madrid are to win back possession. Great determination and hunger to continue. The improvement from Barcelona has coincided with returning to a back four. It almost seems as if the players are happy at playing that system. It almost looks as if they were sulking that they were playing in the squad and are happy with their role in the squad. Because Vasquez, for instance, would be far happier being a player that comes from the bench. The covers to Semedo to sorry, Terry to Suarez. A little bit brighter. The covers players, as opposed to someone like Camus Rodriguez or Morata, who want to be and demand to get the delivery into the box. Consolation for. Barcelona. Barcelona has scored in the last 24 games between these two teams. Hey. They can't score tonight. It's the most likely of scores. <laughs> Luis Suarez. He's got something, but he's probably as surprised as the rest of us. He does find his way through to the far post. 
Murphy from Suarez. Sergio Roberto. Maybe that one move is summing up Barcelona at the moment. No shot. This Messi. Suarez! It's just not their night. Even Luis Suarez can't score from a mantle of feet out. Well, Sergio Roberto with the first chance, isn't it? And Messi takes on the attempt. Cal Navas. It's a habit of spilling attempts in that fashion. Suarez should. Hernandez steps past Semedo's if he isn't there. Then a little heavy touch. A little. Is just inches inside the far touch line. Very promising, isn't it? He's a left back, he's playing advanced to Marcelo, they're working well. Argentinian on Brazilian, they have lost. Well, victory complete for Zinedine Zidane. Back to back defeat in his first two games for Ernesto Valverde. He knows what a very big job he has on his hands in restoring Barcelona to former glories. And for Real Madrid, yet. Another trophy, it has been a breeze in truth. Asensio and Benzema are the scorers as they breeze the side Barcelona and beat them in the second leg 2-0, 5-1 on aggregate. And that is humiliation for Lionel Messi and co. Winners throughout their careers. They don't really want to be going up there and taking a, a loser's medal, do they? performance rather than the first half in particular I think Barcelona have done well to come out there with just a the 2-0 defeat this evening and it appeared in the first 45 minutes as if it was going to be and could be a whole lot worse for Barcelona Real Madrid were emphatic they were fantastic particularly in the first half then were able to control the rest of the game uh, pretty much all of the statistics of course there was a yellow card to Luis Suarez the images of the players tell the tale. Slumped shoulders, stern faces from the Barcelona players. A beaten team, misshapen tonight, not quite understanding the tactics of the remit of Valverde. Clearly at the moment, a couple of players short. Neymar departing last week. Iniesta can no longer be relied upon. And then when you look into the pool of possible replacements on the bench, there are very few that can come on and make an impact. Whereas Real Madrid tonight have done it without Cristiano Ronaldo. They were able to give Bale a break. Isco wasn't required. And they have a backup in every single position. And when they make the changes, it doesn't discernibly weaken them. It's a big job. Real Madrid over these two games great way for them to start off the season in the European Super Cup a dominant win and performance in the two legs against Barcelona but I still expect Barcelona and Real Madrid at Atletico Madrid in the league season coming up to be there thereabouts competitive the three of them I think we're in store for another exciting season of football in, in La Liga and Cristiano did his part in the first leg of course with that Excellent goal in what turned out to be a, a cameo appearance. Booked initially for taking his uh, shirt off and then a second booking for a simulation, taking a dive simulation and then the long sentence for uh, putting his hands upon the referee. He's going to be missing for a further four games at the start of the season. But the signs are that they can carry that. The signs are that there is life beyond the years of Cristiano Ronaldo. Zinedine Zidane has laid the foundations with gold and bricks. High fives from Sergio Ramos as he heads up to the president who can hardly contain his delight he's doing it at the moment without spending on Galacticos a 
new season, another trophy for Real Madrid, champions of Spain, champions of Europe, and Super Cup winners at the start of 2017. They brushed aside Barcelona, they look to be the business, they mean the business, and Barcelona have an awful lot of work to do in the next few weeks if they're going to compete with this dominant Real Madrid team. Barca heads to the shadows. Questions will be asked back home in Catalonia. But here it's going to be celebrations into the early hours of the morning. Yep, no, dominant performance from Real Madrid. They were super, fitter, sharper, hungrier and far better than their opponents over two legs.